So, is this the beginning of the end for Jurgen Klopp at Dortmund? On Saturday, Borussia Dortmund travelled to their small neighbours SC Paderborn with the view of picking up another three points on a long way to recovery. And things started very well with a 2-0 lead. Aubameyang and Marco Reus on target for the Black and Yellows, but then in the second half, everything fell apart. First, Lucas Roop made it 2-1, then Marco Reus had to come off injured with a bad ankle injury, and Mehe Saglik made it 2-2, nine minutes before the end. And that was, of course, after a very regular goal had been chalked off for Kevin Grosskreutz. So all in all, another terrible afternoon for Jürgen Klopp and Co. Dortmund only 16th in the table after that 2-2 draw with Paderborn, but the worst news for them is Marco Reus being injured yet again. The third ankle injury for the German international. He'll be out until the new year. It was a terrible situation, Jürgen Klopp said after the game. I can hardly speak about football after witnessing what had happened to this boy. Marvin Bacalo is very lucky to get away with only a yellow card from what really was a horror foul. So no Royce and not many games left for Dortmund to turn it around or at least give a sense of positive momentum before the winter break. They're really up against it this year. Dortmund's troubles in the league have intensified speculation about Jurgen Klopp possibly being off. And he himself now has stoked the rumours by saying that the Premier League would be his preferred destination if and when he's leaving Dortmund. Within Germany and Dortmund, nobody really expects him to leave this summer. He's got another few years left until 2018 and most people believe that he will fulfill his contract. Certainly, Dortmund have absolutely no inclination of letting him go. It makes you wonder though, why was he so keen on putting his interest on the record right now? Well, I believe that Jurgen Klopp is playing a long ball game here. I think this is a marketing exercise, an attempt to prepare a path, an exit route, if his passion does run out of Dortmund, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Well, some big results at both ends of the table. First of all, Schalke beating Wolfsburg 3-2 with a new three at the back formation that we might see being employed against Chelsea in the Champions League as well. And one of the most surprising results, Gladbach losing 3-1 at home to Frankfurt to put a bit of a dent into the fall's great season so far. And finally, at the wrong end of the table, where the sun don't shine, Stuttgart crashed to a 1-0 home defeat against Augsburg. This is now the worst start of the season in 40 years, and the Swabians look in real trouble, might actually go down. It's hard to see anyone catching up with Bayern this season. They're seven points ahead going into next week's fixtures, but the battle of second against third, Wolfsburg against Mauricio Mönchengladbach, is promising to be very, very interesting. They both lost last weekend, they both got Thursday night Europa League action to condemn with, but they both have also got an amazing chance to really underline their credentials for a Champions League spot. So check back next week to find out who won the battle between Wolfsburg and Borussia Mönchengladbach and whether Jürgen Klopp has something to smile about again. You can also check out France, Italy and Spain and don't forget to subscribe. See ya!